Hey everybody, thanks for joining us. We're here, I'm here with Leah McHugh. We're here with Tamara of Sellers Alley. Thanks for joining us, Tamara. How are you today? Thank you very much, Chris. I'm very good. How are you guys? Pretty good. We're here to talk about the interaction between TikTok ads and Amazon um, and very interesting intersection of e-commerce and advertising. We know that you guys are experts in this space. So I thought I'd just start with a very general question around, are you seeing an increase in interest in this topic, number one, but number two, do you see that Amazon sellers and business owners understand how TikTok and Amazon intersect in the ad space? Yeah, let me just answer first on the, on the second question, as mm -hmm. I think it's important one. As we came across a lot of Amazon sellers do not understand what actually TikTok is and how good impact on their sales, on their product page and everything. So usually uh, people think that TikTok is for younger age, but actually mm -hmm. most of the people and users on TikTok are 18 plus years old. And they really tend to buy uh, a lot of different e-commerce brands, products, especially from the Amazon. But when it comes to like some maybe a success story that I can share with you mm -hmm. uh, yeah, definitely. Like regarding, regarding Amazon and TikTok. So I can introduce you a little bit more to it. For example, we had like a brand that we are still working with that wanted to lead traffic to Amazon product page and to, of course, raise brand awareness and uh, increase the sales. So here is important to mention also that they wanted to improve their product overall because they were just starting with their Amazon business so we have started with creating of course campaigns on amazon like different types of campaigns targeting different kind of uh, keywords and uh, competitors and everything to start increase that part when it comes to amazon and along with that we have created road targeting campaign on tiktok first mm -hmm. that ended up being great even with the higher cpa at the beginning but as the lifetime value of shoppers was actually higher and later narrowing the, the targeting down, of course, traffic decreased, mm -hmm. but the conversion rate was increasing actually. Oh, wow. So this was like- Does it depend on the kind of product? Is there a difference in success rate from one product line or one category versus another, would you say? Yeah, of course, it depends on what is your category of the product and how your ads look like on TikTok, mm -hmm. for sure. It needs to be like totally organic, like high resolution videos, but, really important one is don't make ads make tiktok as the thing that i was mentioning before like why do amazon sellers do not understand tiktok is because uh, they're creating the videos for amazon but it's good to create videos for amazon when you're advertising on amazon but when right. you're advertising on tiktok right. you need to be totally organic like you created the video for the tiktok and not mm -hmm. advertising as right. the people are scrolling through to tiktok and when they see organic video they they see how organically people are interacting with your product how they mm -hmm. use it mm -hmm. and when they click and they lead them to the amazon page they tend to buy a lot because it's totally organic so with our client that I was mentioning before, we were uh, making that campaign on TikTok and also on Amazon. And we seen a ranking going high, like in the first top five products, sponsor ones, and wow. also organic in about three months. It was period around three, two or three months. Mm -hmm. And we started seeing also increasing in total revenue and ad revenue. So it really improved the product and the brand on Amazon. And of course they have created like TikTok um, profile after some time as they have seen really good leads from TikTok and they wanted to be on that social media platform as well. I think yeah. Amazon sellers understand the importance of TikTok now versus a couple of years ago. They I just think maybe they've gotten don't know to the what point. to do with it. <laughs> They like don't they know, know what to do with it. it. They don't know what to do with it. I mean, we know that people can get more into TikTok without being teenagers or in their 20s <laughs> because we're not teenagers and we're not in our 20s and we've been doing it since last year. Amazing. And there's a little bit of a learning curve. I mean, you have to get into it, but I don't think it's that difficult to understand once you get some practice and once you start understanding how valuable TikTok can be in the, and what the ad space is and the differences between Amazon and TikTok. Yeah. Yes, yes, I agree with you totally. Well, and you're also, you know, you have a lot more opportunity to brand. On Amazon, you don't really have a huge opportunity to like 
brand yourself. I mean, unless somebody is already on your product detail page, they're not having that brand experience that you can have on TikTok. Also, right. you know, you're in a different, you're in a different psychological state when you're on Amazon, you're actively looking to buy a product when you're on TikTok. I feel like most people are just mindlessly scrolling. <laughs> yes, um, yes, exactly. That's exactly what, what it is about Amazon and TikTok. It's totally different, as I said, mm -hmm. but like I have to mention that TikTok is actually totally different than any social media platform or any e-commerce site, totally different way of thinking and totally different users. Mm, because of that, it, it, they tend to buy when they see organic posts. Mm -hmm. So you can create the, the videos from five to 60 seconds, mm -hmm. but our recommendation is always to create it shorter because people are coming to TikTok just to like scroll, 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 you know, like for yeah. hours. Yeah. But for some videos like uh, that can be like really engaging, catching the few, first few seconds, people tend to look into it like uh, for 60 seconds also. Because like when it comes to maybe some art uh, products or something like that, it's really engaging and they want to see what's going to uh, come into the end. So those kind of videos can last 60 seconds, of course. But as I said, 10, 15 seconds is totally fine for TikTok. Yeah, everybody's attention spans are getting shorter. Shorter and shorter. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, so in terms of somebody who's looking to scale their brand or scale their business this year, what would be your top tip for doing that with TikTok? Yeah, I would say if you want to scale your business on Amazon with the help uh, of TikTok, you can do it really easily, as I said, but you need to be patient as, uh, as first month on TikTok is actually like collecting the audience, see how they interact with your brand, getting brand awareness and everything. But actually, let's say it's, it's really like nonstop job. You cannot just set the campaigns and forget about it as you need to upload more and more videos to have people interact with your brand. And to scale it, you need to be really into it to do it on Amazon and to do it on TikTok at the same time. So with the external traffic, you can increase sales, boost your reviews, ranking. And with that, we advise you to use TikTok platform as it shows to our clients, as I said, increasing um, total sales and uh, ad sales. My tip is just, you need to do it like Amazon and TikTok at the same time to be able to scale it as it is not enough just to do TikTok or just to do Amazon advertising um, right. anymore. The client that I was mentioning like before, we came from five figure seller to eight figure seller. And it's crazy, you know, if you combine those two platforms and external traffic with it. We're not people that believe in set it and forget it for anything tied to an Amazon business or an Amazon <laughs> account. So I love that you said that because something that requires constant attention or regular monitoring of an integration, like the TikTok experience with the Amazon experience. I love that you said that because we're big believers in that uh, constant, you know, constant attention. Yeah, here at Sellers Alley, we are just like you guys because we have like dedicated team of PPC specialists that are mm -hmm. always look out for the accounts of our clients. Mm -hmm. And we are constantly, you know, with the trends and creating all types of campaigns, testing everything, uh, constantly searching for the new keywords, new ACs to target, and of course, to put some external traffic and to be one step ahead of uh, the trends and everything. So you guys do the whole way through, right? You do the, the creative as well as the targeting, as well as the optimization. The sellers are not doing the creative part. Oh, okay. The, the, yeah. So just PPC. Okay. And so in terms of keeping up with the trends and stuff, are you recommending to people what they should be putting in their content? For TikTok? Yeah, yeah, for sure. We are consulting like what we think is the best for their brand. We are always analyzing the competition and mm -hmm. as I said, to follow the trends and everything. Mm -hmm. So we like to test like every new campaigns that came out and of course, like put all new custom images that can be in the new types of campaigns and uh, headlines and everything that came to Amazon new. Awesome. So where's the best place to reach you for more information about what you do? Yeah, you can contact us on our website, sellerzelly.com. We are on all social media platforms, of course. Uh, we have some cool TikTok videos on our TikTok account as well. But as we are official Amazon and TikTok partners, you can also find us on their partner parts on their website too. Awesome. Great. Thank you so much, Tamara. This has been really interesting. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much, guys. Take care.